Welcome to the Atlanta Public Schools Infinite Campus Training Video Creating Assignment. After viewing this video, teachers will be able to create an assignment and attach it to the correct category in Infinite Campus. To begin, log in to Infinite Campus. If you need assistance logging in, please contact your on-site Infinite Campus person or contact client support at 404-802 1000. Once in Infinite Campus, from the Section drop down menu, select the section where you are creating your assignment. Next, on the Index tab, click the plus sign in front of Instruction. Then, click on the Assignment icon. This will take you to the Assignments tab. We have used previously Edit Teacher Preferences, Edit Grade Calculation Options, and Edit Categories. Now we are ready to create assignment. Here click on Create Assignment. You will enter the name of the assignment, then you will enter a five character abbreviation for the assignment that will be seen in the gradebook view. For this video, we're going to enter a practice assignment. Next, choose either unscored activity or scored assignment. An unscored activity may be a field trip, research time in the media center, or class presentation time. These items cannot be seen in the Infinite Campus Gradebook, but will appear in the Daily Planner and Parent Portal. For this video, we will select the default scored activity. Leave the test strand blank for now. Next, the notes sections, teachers can enter information about the assignment. This information will not be displayed on the campus portal and is for teacher use only. We're going to enter a note to remind ourselves to delete this practice assignment. The next section is section placement. Here you decide all the sections this assignment will be associated with. In elementary, you may only have one section in a course, but in middle and high, you may have multiple sections attached to the same course that need this assignment. Place a check mark in front of each section that you should have or you want to give this assignment to. The next section is the Information for Students section. This will display on the Campus Portal. Click on Show, and this will expand the boxes where you can enter text for the description, objectives, and references. This is a great place to share detailed information on an assignment that can be seen by parents through the Infinite Campus Portal. The Student Work Product sections stays as None. Next, we'll go to Scoring the Alignment Detail. Scroll down to the Grading Task at the very bottom. On the Grading Task, several of them will say No Categories. You want to select the Grading Task that does not have the words No Categories attached to it. In our example, it is semester grade. Check semester grade and then select the category for the assignment. By default, the scoring type is points and total points is 100. Leave points, but if you need to change the total points to fit your assignment, do so. This section is extremely important in making sure the assignment is attached not only to the correct category, but to the correct grading task. If you have questions, again, please check with your on-site Infinite Campus contact person. Finally, you have a few options for saving the assignment. You can simply click on Save, which will allow you to return to this current page or you may choose to click on Save and Score to start entering scores for this assignment. And lastly, you can click on Save and create a new assignment if you have several assignments that you'd like to enter in one sitting. 
we'll simply click on Save. Once the page refreshes, we'll click on the assignment list. Now I'm going to sort the assignments by the due date so that you can see the assignment that we just created. If you need to make a change to this assignment, you can click on the name of the assignment, the blue link. This takes us back to the assignment page where we can edit the assignment or delete the assignment. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and delete this assignment. As always, remember to read the dialog boxes in Infinite Campus, confirm that you do want to delete the assignment, and click on Save. So in this video, you've seen how to create an assignment, how to assign it to a section, a task into a category. We've seen how to save it, as well as how to delete an assignment. For further assistance, please see your on-site Infinite Campus person. This has been the Atlanta Public Schools Infinite Campus Training video, Creating Assignments.